Okay, here we go with another video. Uh, try to help people in finding out what things are for these cars. This is a uh, 2007 uh, Chevy Malibu. Uh, it comes with a 2.2 liter engine. And the crankshaft location. And this car, I guess you can call it whatever you want to call it. I call it this is a bitch to find this uh, crankshaft location. You can try to do it without pulling the intake manifold, but uh, it's right on the this thing over here, on the this, and you can actually, you can't see it at all. You will have to get, it's an eight uh, millimeter uh, socket wrench with an extension. You can try to do it through, you know, let's say through the, throughout here, blind, without seeing it. I did it once and I was able to pull it out, but uh, if I have to put it back, I never put it back, but if I have to put it back then, I probably wouldn't have been able to. You can save a lot of time because uh, taking the money for it is not a big deal. Uh, you can, you know, pull the money for it and uh, where's what I do with the sensor? I lost it now. Anyway, oh no, here it is. It's right over here. Right down here. You can see that hole over here. This is it. It's it. This thing hanging in there. I uh, pulled the plug out, pulled the screw out, and... You, you might need a, like a long needle nose so you can just grab it, grab it and put it out because it doesn't want to come out once you pull the plug out. But with a needle nose, you shouldn't have any problems. It's right there. Uh, this is what you have to take out. Throw it to the side. Then you have access to, you know, move around and do whatever you need to do. There might be, you know, other ways to do it. Like I said, you know, I tried, I did it one time, I pulled it out blind, I was able to get my socket there, you know, I was just struggling for half an hour, and got it out, but if, again, if I have to put it back, I don't know how we have done it, because you you can't see the screw, and it's like deep inside, and terrible, terrible, this is like a really a bad, bad, bad spot, but I guess, you know, that's what it is, and that's the way you have to do it if you can. All right, at the, at the same time, right next to it, if you need it, it's also the knock sensor. It's right there. You can, uh, you know, if, if you need to pull out your knock sensor, it's right there. And the other one there, I really don't know what it is. It looks to me like probably the, uh, what do you call it, the sander, the oil sander, possibly. It looks like one of those, but I'm not sure that's what it is. But if you're looking for it, that might be it. So you got your knock sensor and your crankshaft sensor right there. And the light is bad right now. I can't see what I'm doing. The light. Yep. There you go, right under the uh, filter. I think that's an oil filter there. I don't know. I, I think that's what it is. Uh, I guess hope that helped you. Yeah, it helped me. I'm doing, redoing this whole engine. So I figured, you know, take this chance and remove and change that because I was having a lot of trouble starting the car anyway before everything else, okay? So good luck and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting up, you know, putting up a lot of videos on finding uh, how to do these things and where to find all components, okay? Thank you. Subscribe, please.